Alright, so in a bold move to crack down on cheating, a Japanese cram school has developed a revolutionary new AI detection system aimed at curbing the misuse of generative AI in university applications. But why exactly is this necessary and how effective can such a system really be in this ever-evolving landscape of AI technology? Well, if you're interested in learning more about this topic, then please like, share, and subscribe for the Sushi Gods of YouTube. Alright, so a prominent cram school, Kawaijuku Educational Institution, has created a system to detect the use of generative AI in personal statements submitted by high school students applying for university. Now, this initiative is in response to the rising concerns about using AI improperly, specifically referring to creating application documents which are increasingly critical in university admission applications. And in recent years, Japanese universities have really shifted from the traditional entrance exams to a more holistic approach, emphasizing grades, essays, and interviews. And as of 2023, 51% of universities relied on personal statements and interviews, which is a significant increase from the 44% in 2013. Now, with the heightened importance of these documents, ensuring their authenticity has become paramount. Now, Kawajuku's system leverages a detection program developed by Google, which is capable of identifying subtle indicators of AI use. And this program is said to be particularly effective for statements ranging from the 500 to over 1000 word characters, and supposedly boasts a low error rate of just 5%. Now, this development is a significant step towards maintaining fairness and integrity in the admissions process. And some universities in Japan, like Sophia University and Aoyama Gakuin University, have already banned generative AI in entrance applications. However, many other institutions, like Sega University, have yet to establish clear rules and regulations, citing challenges in detecting AI-generated content. Which is why some universities have adopted a more holistic approach, emphasizing the need for diverse evaluation methods. But really, this initiative by Kawaijuku really highlights the growing need to adapt to technological advancements, while at the same time maintaining academic standards. And as AI becomes more and more sophisticated, Institutions must develop more robust systems in order to detect and prevent its misuse. While Kawajuku's system is a promising start, the ongoing challenge will be to stay ahead of AI technology and ensure that university admissions remain fair and merit-based. But what are your thoughts on using AI for academic purposes? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in news like this, then guess what? You should probably learn some Japanese. So make sure you check out my free Japanese sheet sheet in the description box down below, where I share with you the five simple but not well-known strategies of how to learn Japanese the fast, fun, and easy way. And until next time, everyone, stay waku waku.